The words only one surah which is start with the anger of Allah. The rest of 120 surah or the chapter of the Quran, they start with the name of Allah, the merciful. The one who is given all the mercy, who is full of mercy, infinite mercy, and who is the most merciful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this surah has lots of warnings from Allah. Even they starting the Baratu min Allah wa Rasuli, it is starting with an warning also. And the verses I am reading here, the verse number 23 and 24, it has also warning. When you go to verse number 24, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kul, he is saying to Prophet Muhammad to say to the people, to the believers. Kul in kana aba'ukum, wa abna'ukum, wa ikhwanukum, wa azwajukum, wa ashiratukum, wa amba'an yunuk taraftumuha, wa tijaratun takshawna kasadaha, wa masakina tordawnaha ahabba. So Allah mentioned about the eight kind of things. Allah is saying, if your fathers and your sons and your brothers, so it's gender using is all male, but it's include the mother and father or sons and daughters and brothers and sisters, of course. And your spouses. And your relatives. And your wealth in which and your wealth, the number, number six thing, is the wealth and your wealth. And what is jara and your trading, your business? If people are working, the warning here for their jobs. And your dwellings, your houses, which you like it very much, which you are pleased very much. Ahabba ilaykum. If they are more beloved to you, those all things, the fathers, the sons, the fathers and mothers, or the sons and daughters, and the brothers and sisters, and the spouses, and the, the amwal, the wealth, and the tijara, your business, your negotiate, your negotia, your mga negocio, and your houses, your places, which you like it very much, which you are pleased very much. If these all are more valuable for you, if these all are more lovable for you, you are more giving priority to those all list here, the list of the eight, then what Allah said? Habba ilaykum min Allahi wa rasuli If what he had in feasibility, if these all are more lovable for you, then Allah and his messenger, and to struggle in the way of Allah. Fatarabba, so then wait, hatta ya'ti Allah bi amri, until Allah will send his decision. Allah will send His command to destroy you. Wallahu la yadil qawm al fasikin, and Allah is not guiding those who are disobedient to Allah. For us as a Muslim, the most important is Allah and His Messenger and to struggling in the way of Allah. What is the struggle today? What should be our struggle today? The struggle today, the Islam is giving a misconception in the world today. People are talking bad about Islam because of the media war against Islam. Today is a media is making a wage war against Islam. And if you want to do something to Islam, then you struggle in the way of Allah and bring the right image of Islam. That's a struggle we as a Muslim needing that. So if you love Allah, and his messenger and is struggling in the way of Allah more than this all, then you have no warning. But if you love all those lists here, more than Allah and his messenger, and more than to struggling in the way of Allah, to making da'wah in the way of Allah, then you have a warning from Allah. So what is more love, most lovable for me? Allah and his messenger and to working hard in the way of Allah. Then I have no warning. You all want free from the warning? That you have no warning from Allah? Then make it most lovable for you. Allah and His Messenger and is struggling in the way of Allah. And the struggle we are needing now is to bring Islam to the people. When you wake up in the morning, you plan how I can bring Islam to the people. 
And when you are sleeping at night, you think again, how I can, what should I do tomorrow to bring Islam to people? That's our job today. For that uh, reason to bring the Islam, you don't need to stop your job. You don't need to stop your business. You can do while you are doing a business. In fact, if you are involved in a social life, doing a business or doing a job or going to the school, then you can get more opportunities to bring Islam. Because nobody will come at home. If you're staying home, nobody will come to your home and they ask you, please tell me about Islam. Unless if Allah sends somebody to you. So example, you are a driver and you're a taxi driver or a grab driver. So you go out in the morning. What should be your intention? My intention, I'm go your intention, you're going out in a grab, in a taxi. You are looking for the people to give Dawah Islam. How I can bring Islam to the people? Because that's Allah said here. That your fathers, your sons, your, your brothers, male gender, but for, it's for everyone. Fathers and mothers, the parents, and sons and daughters, and brothers and sisters, and the spouses, and the relatives, and the wealth, and the tijara, the business, and your residences are more lovable for you than Allah and His Messenger and to struggle in the way of Allah. So that is the meaning to say here, it's not just enough that I pray five times a day, it's not just enough I make fasting in month of Ramadan, it's not just enough I just give charity, the obligatory, the zakat, and it's not just enough that I just go to the Hajj once in a lifetime. No, you are still in the curse of Allah if you are not struggling in the way of Allah. To bring the message of Allah to the mankind. And why it's very serious matter? Because from Adam a.s. until the last, prof last prophet Muhammad a.s. Allah sent the so many messengers and prophets. 124,000 prophets Allah sent. So every nation, every time there is a prophet to give the message. But when Allah sent the last messenger, the last prophet, Nabi Muhammad a.s. No prophets coming, no messenger coming. It becomes our obligation to bring the message to the whole world. It is our job now. We are not prophets. Because the last prophet is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Khatam al-Nabiyin. But we are given the job of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to bring the message to the whole world. Musa Alaihi Wasallam was sent to Bani Israel. Isa Alaihi Wasallam was sent to Bani Israel. Shoaib al-Islam, the Prophet Shoaib was sent to Madian. Kome Ad, Kome Samud, Nuh al Prophet Nuh was sent to his people. Kome Lut, he was sent to the Dead Sea, to his people. Every Prophet was sent to a particular time and a particular nation. But Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah gave him the job for all mankind. And until when? Not for 100 years, not for 50 years, not for 200 years, not for a thousand years, until the day of judgment. Until Allah will destroy this earth, He is the last prophet of Allah and His job is to bring the message to all mankind. But He has already died and before He died, He passed the job to us. He said, Bring in behalf of me even one verse. When He gave the khutbatul Jummah, the khutbatul Hajj, Hajjatul Wida, that is first and last Hajj. Then he said, that, do you witness I bring, I convey the message to you? And they all, more than 100,000 Sahaba, they said yes. And then he said, Allah ma'ashid, Allah ma'ashid, Allah ma'ashid, O oh Allah be my witness, that I already give the job. I already give the message to them. Then he said, those who are present here, bring my message to those who are not present here. What he said to his companions, those who are present here to receive my message, bring this message to those who are absent here. So what the Sahaba did, they go all around the world. They go to India, they go to China, they go to Africa, they go to Europe, they go to all around the world and bring the message of Islam. What we are doing. Are we doing the job? If not, then Allah said, Then wait 
until Allah will bring his command for you to destroy you. So to love Allah and to struggle in the way of Allah, it's our salvation. Struggling, struggling in the way of Allah to bring the message of Allah to the mankind, it is our salvation. If you want that Allah will not destroy us, then we have to get this job. I want to bring the message of Allah to all mankind. Because Allah said, if you are going to have a more lovable for you, your parents and your <coughs> brothers, sisters, and your uh, sons and daughters, and your brothers and sisters, and your wives, your spouses, your relatives, your wealth, and your business, and your houses. If they are more lovable for you, then Allah and His Messenger, and to struggling in the way of Allah, فَتَرَبَّسُوا Then wait. It is, what is the meaning wait here? You, wait, you, you are fighting someone. You are fighting someone. And now, you are very angry. You are fighting someone and you are very angry to your, your, uh, the person you are fighting now. And you said, Sige, andahin ka muna. What's the meaning now? I will get something for you now. Just wait for a while. When you're angry, you say, for the rabbas to wait. And then come on. What you do? I will get something for you now. So that is a warning here. For the rabbas to hatta yati Allah bi amri. Then wait until Allah will bring his judgment for you. Allah will bring his command for you to destroy you. So dawah is to bring the message of Allah. The dawah is not just that you do it and you get some reward. No. It is our salvation. It is our protection. It is our safety. And if you will not do it, the disbelief will come upon us. You know what happened now? Many Balik Islam, when they come to Islam, they are very strong, very active. But they, they stop making dawah. What happened? Mahinana, walana. They lost their iman. Because they are not producing light anymore. The making dawah is like you are bringing out the light from you. But when you are not making dawah, you have no light coming out. Then the darkness comes upon you until walana, darkna. You are in a darkness. You are no more. As long as you make dawah, you keep on speaking about Allah, your iman will multiply. And once you stop talking, your iman will decrease until it will finish. So making dawah, it's our protection. It is a protection for our iman. It is protection for our deen. It is protection for our next life and this life. So any moment of the life, be active. Be active. I want to make dawah. I want to bring people to Islam. And it is not our uh, obligation to make someone Muslim. Must be, no. Our obligation, وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاقُ mubin. When the messengers were in Surah Yasin were preaching to the people in the town, what they said? وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاقُ mubin. And upon us is to only the, convey the message clearly. Convey the message clearly. Our job is to give you the message clearly. It's up to you to accept or reject. So we are not obligated to bring people to Islam, to bring people to the way of Allah, but to just convey. In a good way. <coughs> not in a bad way, not in a fighting way, but in a nice way. Because you cannot convince anyone with fighting. You cannot convince anyone with a bad argument. But you can always convince people to win their hearts. To win their hearts. For me, if you ask bad behavior, everybody hates you. Allah said to Prophet Muhammad because Prophet Muhammad has a very good akhlaq. His moral is very good. His attitude, his behavior is very good. Allah said, if you were harsh, people will run away from you. But you are very kind, so everybody is with you. So try to be polite, try to be kind, try to be generous, give their smile, avoid to get angry. Be charitable and be generous. And be kind all the time. Then that is the best instrument for dawah. If you meet a Christian at your work, at your business, at, in the school, in the street, in the mall, anywhere. What is the first thing you do to make dawah? You smile at him. Give him a good word. You know sometimes if I'm talking to a, a non-Muslim, what is the first thing I do? Say salam. Salam. What's the salam? Peace be with you. If he'll ask me what's the meaning salam, kapayapan. 
And then you, I talk to them, for example, Tagalog word, Kamusta? They become happy because I'm talking their language. And then nice talking. Invite something. Invite for a coffee. Give some water for a drink. Give something to eat. And make a relation. Show your good attitude. Show your generosity. Show your good behavior. That is the number one instrument for your dawa. If you are going to someone in the kilala and then you start making dawa, that's not the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hindi ka pwede biglan yung dawa derecho, no. First, you have to make a relation with your good, good character. When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam go from Mecca to Medina migration, he did not tell people, you start make dawa, no. He said people, make salam and invite for the food. Two things he commanded to the Sahaba. Salam, spread the salam, and invite people for eating. So best thing when we are do doing this fulfillment of this obligation, to struggle in the way of Allah, to bring the message of Allah to all mankind, number one thing is our character. And your tongue, your word, should be also noted for. How you speak. If you are Muslim and you're speaking a bad words, nobody listens to you. They will curse you and they will curse your religion. So very important here message that it is our obligation to struggle in the way of Allah to bring the message to humanity and it is not just we do it, it's good and not do it, it's okay. No, if you do it, then you are fulfilling our obligation and if you not do it, then Allah is warning here for the Rabba su hatta yati Allah bi amri. So may Allah save us from this curse of Allah. Ameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ومن يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى قل إن كان آباؤكم وأبناؤكم وإخوانكم وأزواجكم وأشيرتكم وأموان نقترفتموها وتجارة تخشون كسادها ومساكين ترضونها أحب إليكم أحب إليكم من الله ورسوله وجهاد في سبيله فتربصوا حتى يأتي الله بأمره والله لا ياد القوم الفاسقين As I said in the first khutbah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Say to them that if your fathers Male gender, but it comprises male and female, means father and mother. Say, if your fathers and your sons, sons and daughters, and your brothers, brothers and sisters, and your spouses, for the husband, that is wives, and for the wife, husband, and your spouses, and your relatives, and your wealth, and your business, and your houses in which you delight. They are more lovable for you than Allah and His Messenger and to struggle in the way of Allah then wait until Allah will bring His command for you to destroy you. And Allah doesn't guide those who are disobedient to Allah. <coughs> so what is the destruction here? As I said earlier, like there are many Balik Islam in the Philippines, when they become Muslim, they are very strong, powerful. They are powerful, very high Iman, but when they are going in a, their field and their community and their relatives and normal life again, and they don't make dawah, they become weak. Their Iman become weak, weak, weak until finish. And the next time you meet, he's not Muslim anymore. Why? Because he is cursed by Allah. Allah gave him a treasure, but he doesn't want to give to others his this treasure. Allah gave him the gift from him, the Islam, but he's just hiding it inside. He doesn't want to give to the people. So what Allah said, Wallahu la yahdi al-qawm al-fasikin, and Allah will, is not guiding those who are disobedient to Allah. So if you disobey Allah and you not bring the message, then that is a punishment that Allah will not guide you. Wallahu la yahdi al-qawm al-fasikin. And that's what's happening. 
A person who is praying five times a day, very active in Islam, but he doesn't make dawah, he doesn't invite people to Islam. Slowly by slowly, if he's living in a non-Muslim society, gradually he'll be finished. Later on, he'll be stop praying, he will start eating haram, he will be joining and meeting, making some girlfriends also, and going away from Islam gradually until he will be no more. And then now, before you say, your name is what? When he become Muslim, no, Abdullah. When you make next time after he disobey Allah and not spreading Islam, next time you meet him, he's already agreed his mic now. No more Abdullah. Allah get back from him. Because this is the gift of Allah. This is the treasure of Allah. When Allah guides you to Islam, when Allah guides you to himself, then you have to multiply this. You have to bring it to the people. And you do it from morning until you sleep at night. Continuously try to spread the message. Nowadays we have gadgets like cell phones, computers. Get Go to the YouTube, some get a very, very nice message and try to send people. Allah made it very easy for us to spread His news, He spread His message. You are not going anywhere, for example, you cannot, you are locked down or whatever. You are at some place and you are at work and you are not allowed to go somewhere. You have a phone, get some good videos about Islam, about the message of Allah, send to others. Before sleep night time, do this job. Early morning, wake up after Fajr, do this job. Try to spread the message of Allah. Then you are getting out of the curse of Allah. For the Rabbasu, Hatta Yati Allah bi Amri, then wait until Allah will bring His command for you.